Hey guys, this is one of the most requested videos uh, ever in this channel. Uh, ever since I made my uh, Google Maps video. So a lot of people have been asking me for the Ionic 3 plus leaflet maps video and how to place markers in leaflets, uh, geolocation and leaflet maps and st stuff like that. Uh, I thought I'd maybe do a video after the chat app with Ionic 3 and 5A series in. So here it is guys. Mm. Let's get started. This video will rather be a short one. I'll try to make it a short one. Usually I start with this, but in the end, the video comes to 30 minutes or something. I'm sorry for that. Anyway, let's jump into the code. First of all, I have just created a Ionic project. Okay, a blank project rather. It, it has just the home page as you can see here. Now let's just go ahead and install leaflet. Okay, let this get installed. Meanwhile, what we'll do is get into home.html and then remove this entire thing. Okay, this is not needed. I will remove the padding as well. Okay. And inside this, I'll just create a div with an ID called map. Okay, very simple, right? We are just getting a container for the map, that's all. And then and then uh, get into home.ts, add view child so that we can get a reference of that. And then add element ref as well. And then say this, add uh, view child, uh, what was that? Uh, map, right? Map, yeah. Map, uh, map container. Yeah, actually don't need this, I guess. We'll just declare this so that uh, maybe we might need it not a later point of time. And then inside this I own you did enter. Okay. This dot load map. We'll write the loading in a separate load map function. Yes, and uh, now is this installed? Yeah, it is installed. So I can simply make use of leaflet like this. Import leaflet from leaflet. Okay, very simple, right? So far, so good, right? You understand what's happening here. So uh, let me just get here. So before starting to write any code, uh, leaflet maps, they work like layers, guys. They work in layers rather. So uh, it, it, the map itself is a, uh, assume that uh, it, there is a base layer called a tile layer. Okay, tile layer, uh, assume that the map is the tile layer. Suppose if I want to add a marker, I'll add a feature layer, right? And if I want to add a shape, a polygon or something like that, I'll add another feature layer. Then I'll add those feature layers to this map. So uh, those markers will get imposed on this tile layer thereby giving the user that the marker is on the map you get my point right it works like a, in, on the concept of layers one one on the top of the other stuff like that okay something like that you understand it like that for now so uh, now so in in order to wait let me just write uh, some code so that you'll understand first i'll get the thing this dot map equals leaf oh map i didn't Okay, map equals leaflet dot uh, leaflet dot map map dot fit world, which means that it will fit the entire world inside the screen. Okay, and uh, the next thing is I need to put a map image there, right? So in order to do that, uh, what I'll do is what I'll do is uh, uh, leaflet dot tile layer. And inside this style layer, first argument will be the actual map. I have a PNG map here, which I'll make use of. And there are a few more options that we can give. For example, attributions. And then uh, max zoom, max zoom. Okay. 
okay now let's run this app you understand what's going on right this is the map guys this is the actual map okay and uh, attribution is something that we give at the bottom call leaflet call rights reserved something like that right and maximum uh, wait i'll show you let's run this uh yeah guys this is how the uh, just a minute guys before i start i added a css line which i didn't uh, add before running this uh app uh, now i have just added it so that it looks like this anyway now you you understand that i'm i think i'm digressing uh the entire world has been fit into the uh device right this is how this is exactly how it will look uh, when you run the app on a device as well anyway now that we know how to get into you can zoom this obviously now that we know how to get our map inside the device let's see how to do a geolocation okay uh, this is a geolocation we have already seen in google maps as well right let's see how to do this in leaflets as well it's a very simple concept guys uh, let's just let's just get into here and then we'll use the locate function okay and then we'll pass in a couple of parameters set view true uh, max zoom this is the amount of zoom that will be uh, there when this loads up on event listener the event is location found it can also handle error events here okay and uh, uh, console.log location has been found cool right uh, you get my point i'm just trying to uh, do a geo location find my location and then uh, zooming it when the map loads on that particular location let's see how the app looks now wow wait i'll just refresh this one more time see you see that it instantly takes us to the location this is the Now, uh, Madurai is the city where I am staying right now. It's a very, very big city and very old city as well, I guess. It's more than six thousand years old, I guess. Uh, anyway, <laughs> once again, I'm ranting. Anyway, this is—it's pretty much easy, right? And you saw how it, how quick it was as well, right? Even in the device, it will have the same speed, guys. Uh, this is how geolocation is done in uh, Leaflet Maps. If you set the zoom level automatically, uh, you can notice the difference. Say, for example, I'm setting it to eight. Okay, now see. you are able to find the difference right it gets zoomed out the max zoom gets zoomed out as the value increases it will uh, try to zoom in on the location so yeah guys this is how uh, this is how it's done anyway this is how geolocation is done for uh, that's what i meant to say now this e is there right e this will have both the latitude and longitude so once you know the latitude and longitude you can easily place a marker on that location right so in, in the next thing we'll see is how to place a marker okay uh as i said before if you remember i said while starting this video i said right mar markers are uh, markers can be added in a better way if you start using feature layers so let's go ahead and create a feature uh, not feature feature layer first and then make use of that feature layer to place a marker there add our marker there and then add that feature layer onto our application so instead of this i'll just let marker group equals leaflet dot feature layer okay sorry feature group okay feature group and uh, inside this first i'll create a marker let marker equals leaflet dot mark and then inside this i'll add e dot latitude e dot longitude uh, dot we can add a click event on click and then i'll add a handler for that as well alert marker click okay and uh, i'll add these two to the uh, map that's what i was trying uh, i was telling that time right uh, marker group sorry marker group dot add layer marker this dot map dot add layer 
marker you understand what i have done here right that marker is a layer i'm adding it to that feature groups and then i'm taking that layer entirely and adding it to this dot map map is nothing but a uh, leaflet map that i have initialized uh, at the beginning so uh, now you get the concept of layers right uh, and how we can place markers so let's see if our marker is placed wow it is placed here right i'll refresh it once more you can add some animations as well guys uh, animations you try it on your own okay uh, now let me click on this so that we can see whether the click event works as well see the marker clicked so this is how you add markers to your leaflet maps in ionic as well so yeah guys uh, i think i have there are a lot of options guys if i start with that the, it will continue going on anyway uh, i think i have provided a basic intro on how to integrate uh, leaflet applications in your ionic 3 applications right ionic 3 apps right so yeah this is how you do it guys uh, now you might ask me uh, not not you may there are a lot of uh, different styles of maps guys leaflet is pretty pretty much open source i guess the base is no open source and uh, they have added a ton of cool features on top of it for example there is a company called not company there is a product called mapbox okay uh, that mapbox provides a lot of customized maps that can be made use if you are using mapbox you will get an api key and uh, along with that uh, map you just place that url in this uh, particular thing instead of this url you place that url and you'll uh, be able to make use of all those customized maps if you sign up for mapbox and get a api key so uh, yeah the reason why i said that is you can uh, build maps of different styles uh, or, and you can build a real time functionality into this maps as well using firebase if you use uh, back end such as firebase or something uh, and there are a lot of uh, cool features that you can integrate in your application using this uh, leaflet maps guys so yeah, this is what I wanted to share with you guys today. If you found this video helpful, kindly share it with someone and help them too. If you would like to see more cool videos on Ionic and Angular, kindly subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you guys. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.